Alright, now we're gonna go into really sloppy editing skills. Do you see what's wrong here? Do you see what, what the hell is wrong here? Why is some of Luffy's hat removed? You know, this goes to the whole thing with re removing religious references. I don't even think that was the point of the whole pole that Zoro was being tied up to, you know? I mean, they removed that part of the pole because, um, it looked like a cross. I doubt was the, that was the problem. But half of Luffy's, Luffy's head is, half, is erased off. What is the deal? Honestly. Jesus. D why? And another thing with crosses, why erase that from Nami's climb attack, or, or however it's pronounced? It doesn't even remind me of a cross until someone pointed it out. That goes completely with Mihawk's sword. I didn't notice that either until someone pointed it out. It's not that obvious, everyone. It is not. I mean, really. Please. I doubt even kids even notice that. Really. And further in the to sloppy editing skills, yeah. This this points out already enough. We never see Sanji's left eye, okay? We never do. It's like one of the I think it was Oda called it one of the seven mysteries of One Piece in regards to Sanji's left eye. Jeez. Ah. Uh, and why the hell is there a line here, huh? Honestly, seriously, four kids, if you're gonna edit stuff out, could you please be a, be professional about it, huh? Look, I mean, look at this. This is just stupid. I mean, I know probably some people will say that that it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal to me. I mean, can this company be professional about editing anything? I mean, this is, like I showed you, this isn't the first stupid, sloppy-ass edit they've done. And, and I'm sorry, but a lot of people have controversy with blood and everything, but, you know, I'm, I'm just sorry. But kids get hurt all the time when they're playing around in the playground. I doubt seeing Luffy's arms scratched up like this is going to be anything at all traumatizing for kids, you know? All right, all right. This scene with Luffy, um, getting impaled by, um, Crocodile, his hook is going through, you see the blood and everything. This is the one that gets a lot of people pissed off aside from the usual suction cuff thing. But, you know, in regards to this, I have another thing I would like to ask. Why the hell did you put Luffy upside down in the next freaking scene? What, did he turn upside down? And another thing, it looks like he's holding Luffy up by his jean shorts, you know? I mean, why don't they just slide right off his ass, you know? Uh, that, that's just stupid as hell. Honestly. Alright, another thing I forgot, I think I forgot to mention, I'm not sure. Why suction cuffs? Why? I'm asking you why. Why put suction cuffs? Now, I heard from someone say, oh, well, it hurts when, when the suction cuffs pull at your skin. B.S. This is Luffy we're talking about, all right? The guy who can get impaled by Crocodile's hook and still be able to fight him, all right? And still consider it a minor wound, okay? This is the same guy who in Drum Island, while he was hurt and stuff and carrying... Sanji by his teeth, and Nami on his back, and falling off drama, scraping his bare feet and hands up, and, and covered in frostbite, and, and everything else, and still manages to make it all the way up Drum Mountain, or whatever it's called. Alright, this is Luffy we're talking about. Luffy's not a wuss, okay? I think everyone who's a One Piece fan can understand the, that, alright? Luffy's no wuss that pulling off suction cuffs will hurt him, okay? And also, he's rubber. It would just stretch, okay? It, 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 that's BS. It's bullshit, okay? And another thing... Just... The whole thing with racism. 
Now, I hear some people who are 4Kids supporters say that 4Kids isn't racist. Yes, they are. Because of not just this, alright? Yes, it is anno it's d unbelievable that they did this. I don't know. I don't understand why. A lot of people say, oh, it's so it doesn't look like blackface, alright? Now, I have some colored friends, alright? I have friends who are colored. And they find the fact that the color, the skin color was changed at all to be offensive. Not the fact that there was a black person in there. Not because of that. Because it was changed, alright? And and just drawing off of edits for a minute. Um, I think it was uh, Miss Father's Day or Miss Thursday. Um, I, I don't remember her Japanese name. I was never able to see that part of the Our Best arc. But... There was this one Baroque's Works person who dressed up like a frog. And uh, four kids gave her a French accent. Now, the thing is, frog is a slang insultive term for a French person, okay? She's dressed as a frog. She has a lot of frog accessories on her. And she has a French accent. And again, with, with Shanks and his stupid Irish jig of an accent. Not all Irish people sound like that. Alright, I'm German and Irish, okay? Do I sound like that at all? No, I don't. I talk... I don't know how, how to explain how... I talk normally, I guess. I talk without an accent, okay? I don't sound like that. Not all Irish people sound like that. And even the fact that you're doing that just because he has red hair, I guess... It's just stupid as heck, and it's insultive, okay? It's freaking insultive, alright? It's insulting. Alright, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to make a small reference to one of my other rants. My, um, Dizzy can get away with it, but anime can't, which was five parts. I'm going to just point out a few things. I, I didn't get any good visuals for that one, so I'm just going to do that now. To further state my point, alright? So, um, let's look at some of these. Alright, what exactly do we have here now? Hmm, Ariel, and a bra, and that's about it, right? Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, The M Little Mermaid was made a long time ago. Well, you know what? They have a cartoon series now, alright? So, kids are seeing this all the time on Disney Channel. And Esmeralda, and, and Jasmine, I mean, come on. Seriously, this is really silly. And the thing is with Disney movies, some people say that all right, um one of my viewer one of my viewers actually said that, well the movies were made a long time ago. I just want to take the time to say uh, I'm not pointing you out. It's just that a million people said this before, so I'm just going to add this now. The, they're still being sold, okay? In the in the stores, people are still buying them. And this priest is still having his cross on, okay? It's just ridiculous. It's end of story. Stupid. Yeah, so pretty much that's much it. It's just stupid sloppy editing skills, stupid edits to begin with, and just... Ugh. Sorry if I'm talking low, but my mom's in the house now, so... But anyway... <laughs> It's just really dumb. I mean, if they're going to edit stuff, at least be professional about it and don't edit dumb crap out and just... <sighs> uh, I, I've made my point. Anyway, I, I'm going to go now. Um, see you in my um, One Piece Movie 6 review. Baron Omimatsu and the Secret Island. Until then, Jane. Bye.